Hi everyone, it's Nika again. I just wanted to share with you a project that I completed for a swap that I participated in over at myscraproom.ning.com and this is what it is. The swap was for us to alter a 6x6 canvas and then to include in our design um, a picture frame and um, this is what I came up with. My partner was Sonia and she requested um, the colors uh, in pink and brown tones. So I went crazy <laughs> going to all sorts of stores looking for things that are pink because I'm the only girl in my family. I have lots of blues and greens and browns but not that much pink. So this is what um, I did and I ended up using a lot of um, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in velvet, a uh, Victorian velvet, and I just altered the color of the flowers because I couldn't get them to kind of match the way that I wanted it to. So let me zoom in here. Not oh, too much. Okay, um, the flowers that I use, these bigger flowers, are actually these flowers. They're from Hobby Lobby, the wedding. Um, section and then I just used the Victorian Velvet and the Walnut Stain inks to um, paint on the ink color and um, I used Perfect Pearls, a lot of Perfect Pearls to make it really shimmery. I don't think the camera can really pick that up but it's really really shimmery. Like everything on here is really shimmery. Um, so for the canvas, the first thing I did was I painted it with a dark brown paint, acrylic paint, and um, you can kind of see on the sides here, it's brown, and I used the heirloom gold um, perfect pearl to kind of make it more shimmery than having the really flat brown color. Then I used some trim, I used three different trim, I have the, used the brown um, let me see if I can. Yeah. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's this brown trim with a elastic center and kind of these ruffly trim. It's really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. But I wanted it to be more colorful than just having brown on brown. So I had some pink satin ribbon that I glued to the middle to um, this part, the elastic part here. And then I also had gotten some pearl trim. Um, it's not a flat back, but still works. Um, and then I just lined that in the middle there and it came out pretty, pretty nice. I like the way that it frames the canvas from the sides. Um, with the flowers, with the Hobby Lobby flowers that I got, I also used um, Kaiser Craft the mini paper blooms, and um, they were already pink. I just used uh, the mixture of the Perfect Pearl and the Victorian Velvet to just highlight the center of it. Um, I also used some Recollections, just floral embellishments, and I just did the same thing. Oh, well, actually, these were white. They're white these ones and you can see I kind of colored that one there I wasn't sure whether I was going to use it or not but um, I um, just altered the color with that with my inks um, I also put some little brown sprigs in here it's just cardstock just twirl it around um, I think I twirled it around a screwdriver and um, it it's very sturdy and it's just going to hold its shape and I really like how that turned out. Um, I used a bird and a branch. These are from Meyer Road. I used the Tim Holtz in Distress Embossing in Walnut Stain and Tattered Rose. And um, that came out really nice. It has a really nice texture. The frame was uh, Sizzix, I think it's a jelly frame, either that or it's the wavy frame. And then it's the first time I've experimented with crackle medium. And I think that turned out wonderfully. It has this kind of bark 
texture look to it and it I think it just went with the with um what the flowers and the bird and the branch it just went with the whole theme really nicely um the paper in the background is actually from the die cuts with the view luxury stack it's one of the pinkish colors it was one of the only pink papers I had <laughs> and then um I thought that I would add some little hooks to the bottom in the back I added a picture hook so that she could hang it on her wall and doesn't have to mess with drilling a hole with all the stuff on the front covering it and then I added some hooks on the bottom so that she could hang things from them um, I made just some accessories she can use something else if she wants to but I made a couple of tags that have inspirational words on them this one's create the back side says laugh this one says dream and behind that says inspire and I also wanted to include something a little more and so I made this really small mini album and the front says love just to match with the other tags that have the inspirational words on them and it's just closed with some grunge paper and a clasp that I made um, it's the only things I made out of the grunge paper so you open it like this and it has some pockets this one says in a sky full of stars it's amazing to find that each one is one of a kind and it just holds this little ticket inside where she can journal or put a small photo on the back this one this page is also a pocket it has a little tag she can put another picture this one will fit a two by two um, photo there's journaling lines in the back the next page it just says extraordinary and it has like a little flower lots of pearls I used a lot of pearls on this another tag the functional pocket oh that's not there we go the next page says one of a kind and I made a little mini to put in the little mini just some um, photo matting and it's kind of like revolving and it has um, lines that she can journal on in the back and that just tucks in there really nicely and the last page is another pocket with a 2 by 2 photo mat and another tag with some journaling lines and that's not okay there you go and in the back is just my information for her and that's it if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll answer them thanks for watching